What's up YouTube, I'm Caleb here, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up autoresponder in Gmail. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn up those notifications for more, let's get started. So generally, there might be a few reasons why you would need a autoresponder or out of office reply, and some of those reasons could be, you know, maybe when someone reaches out to your email, you want to send them an automated response, it's a really, really good tool. I'm going to show you how to do it on the phone and then on desktop. Let's go. So for this, I've actually just created a test Gmail account. What you want to do is if you haven't got it already, you want to install the Gmail app. Once you've installed, you want to open it, you want to sign in. Then you want to go to the three dots. Once you've pressed on the three dots, you want to scroll down to where it says settings. And now you're going to be taken into the settings page. You've got options to manage your Google account and manage your inbox type and all of that. What you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says out of office auto reply. You want to press this and you see out of office auto reply. You want to enable that. First of all, what you can do is you can set a first day and then you can set a last day. This would be useful the last day here. Let's say if you're out of the office, if you are if you're at work, and if you're out of an office for like 10 days, you can press on custom and you can set a specific date for the auto reply to turn off. But if you want to auto reply all of the time, just select not set. Up next, subject. You want to make the subject, you know, just really a rundown and an overview of what your main message will be. So here, I've just done a generic subject line. Here for the message, we'll be in touch shortly. So you can see, that's just that's a very brief, just for the for time-wise with this video thing you can do. You can tick send to my contacts only, which will only send this auto reply to your contacts. Alternatively, if you want to send it to everybody, um, uncheck that. And then when you're ready, uh, make sure it's all set. It's done. And then you are there. You can easily go out of office reply the same way and you can fix it up if you like. That's how you do it on mobile. Let's head over to the desktop and I'll show you all how to do it over there. You go over here to the settings gear icon, you press on that and then you go into settings. Now once you get taken into settings, what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says vacation responder. Got to find where it is, should be all the way down here, there it is. So vacation responder off, currently this is ticked off, what you want to do is you want to enable that. You can. See here, first day, we've got options to change this if we want. We can simply click this and change the first day. For example, if we want the first day to be the 10th of September, we can add that there. We can add a last day. If you want to add a last day, tick last day. You can see 17th of September, that's just automatically put that in there. Alternatively, you can press this and you can edit that. Likewise, with on mobile, add your subject, add your message. One thing which is cool, and you can actually go with rich formatting. When you go to rich formatting, you you know, if I was to highlight something and click on this B for bold, we can see that that has actually made it bold. Funny thing is, we're actually doing this on the phone. It's crazy. I forgot the desktop thing here up on the phone. It's crazy. We've got it going here. But you can see that it's got that in bold. And you can see it's likewise here. Um, only send a response to people in my contacts. You can take that if you want. I'm not going to take it. And then you, when you're ready, simply click on save changes. We're going to cancel this for now. YouTube, wasn't that so easy to create this auto reply in Gmail? If you like this video, slap a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks like this. Head over to calebtemperman.com to get your exclusive content. Thank you for watching and bye for now.